Hello, you are listening to an article from webmobile.com. Webmobile, with a Y, provides quality, people-centered, professional mobile app and web development services with globally competitive pricing. The title is Doing What You Love. Have you ever worked on actual work or maybe business as if it was your fun thing? Pursued it as if it was an engagement of pleasure and not a chore? I am talking about going on for hours on end, seemingly inexhaustible, doing something with so much involvement, that other things have to work really hard to pull you away from what you are doing. Business or work can be a thing of true joy, if you develop the right attitude and passion. I work as a web developer and I can go on for hours on end, without seemingly getting tired. This is because I love working with software and design. I would like to suggest that you also find something you love, and throw yourself into it. You will be amazed how much you can do without the need to summon a special kind of will, if you truly love whatever it is you are doing. Finding something you truly love is the key. Source of passion and drive. The beauty of working on or with something you love, is that it can be a source of passion. Because you love it, you can perform incredible feats of endurance. You can work on any given task regarding your interest for hours on end. I cannot explain the extent of energy that flows through me when I am working on my passion. Passion is something that develops with commitment. I did not just wake up one day, and started enjoying what I do. I believe there is a minimum level of commitment that has to go into an activity, before passion is ignited. You have to put in the bare minimum, before an activity has the kind of impact I am talking about on your life. It is essential that you have passion as well as drive, and set realistic time-bound goals for yourself. Developing passion and drive is much easier when you are doing what you love, because when you are doing what you love, you develop the resiliency and tenacity that sets you on the right path to achieving your goals. The pressures of life. You might say, wait a minute, life throws stuff at you that makes it impossible to do what you love. This is partly true, and I say partly because, I believe we always have a choice. Yes some choices are harder than others, but ultimately we are responsible for making those choices. You have to understand that doing something you love does not mean being reckless and living irresponsibly. It does not imply that you have to quit your job in pursuit of what you love, without weighing the consequences. If you can't quit your job at the moment to pursue what you love, what is stopping you from doing what you love as a side hustle? The thing about side hustles though, is to make sure you ultimately carry a bigger vision for it. The side hustle has to support a larger vision. You should see yourself progressing in your side hustle, until it becomes the main hustle. Thinking of your side hustle as always being a side hustle is very limiting for your potential. As far as the pressures of life are concerned, you should look at them as challenges that should never stand in the way of the pursuit of something you love. If you take a closer look at your life, it should be apparent that the problems of life are surmountable, if you have enough passion for what you love. Don't be too much of a realist. Being too realistic is something you should stay away from, when it comes to pursuing your passion and the things you love. High doses of realism limit our capacity to dare. They limit our capacity to reach out and grab our desires from life. How many dreams have you had, but did not pursue them simply because you thought they were not realistic? In all likelihood, I would like to bet, that most of those dreams were fairly realistic but not certain, so you resigned yourself to labeling them, not realistic. Instead of being a realist, within reason of course, dare to interrogate the things you love and test them for objective realism. You might even interrogate them against friends and family, but you should be cautious, because other people also suffer from the same problem of requiring too much realism. Find meaning in what you do. If you are able to transition from questioning the realism of doing the thing you love, into a growing passion for it, it is extremely important that you find meaning in that particular activity. Finding meaning in an activity will ensure that you have the energy and drive, to carry it out each and every day, even when things look dire. Once you have meaning in your work or business, you are able to pursue it with passion, with the primary source of satisfaction being the activity itself. This is very important, because then, you can pursue what you love, even when the financial rewards are minuscule, which will most likely be the case when you first start out. Finding meaning in doing the thing you love, and having the courage to see it through, are the necessary fuel that will help you succeed. Know yourself and learn to love what you do. Finding something you truly love may not come easy, it is likely going to take time, and possibly many tries. If you are lucky however, you will quickly find your passion, and make the best of pursuing it. What makes this complicated, is that apart from taking a while, you might not recognize your passion when you find it. 
Maybe another way to look at it is to ask if you are putting enough time into learning to love what you are already doing, instead of seeking something new. You have to remember that even for people who love what they do, and are deeply immersed in that activity, it is possible that it was not always that way. They possibly discovered the activity, and then grew to love it. On the journey towards discovering what you love, and doing it, don't forget to factor in the most important ingredient, you. Know yourself and the kind of things you like, and pursue your chosen activity as if your life depended on it. Be immersed in the activity you love and the rewards will be more than you can imagine. Want to know when a new blog post is published? Please, subscribe. Thank you for listening to the article from webmobile.com. A subscription button is available at the end of each blog post. We would love it and also encourage you to leave your comment at the bottom of the page. Cheers. Hope you listen or read again soon.